Hi, good evening and welcome to the Deerfield Select Board Board of Health meeting on January 15th, 2020. Um, we're opening the meeting at 614 um, at Deerfield Municipal Offices at the main meeting room, 8 Conway Street, South Deerfield, Mass. Uh, this meeting will be recorded, so if you uh, come up to speak tonight, speak into the mic clearly so people at home can hear and uh, give your name. Um, so we have a couple of things on the agenda tonight. We first are going to start right off with a poll hearing. Um, so I'm going to read that right now because we need to open that at 615. So uh, Town of Deerfield poll location hearing pursuant to Mass General Law chapter 166 section 22 and any additions thereto or amendments thereof the Deerfield Select Board will hold a public hearing on January 15th 2020 at 615 p.m. in the main meeting room of the, of the municipal town offices 8 Conway Street South Deerfield on the petition of Verizon New England Inc. and N Star Electric Company DBA Eversource Energy for permission to locate poles, wires, cables, and fixtures, including the necessary anchors, um, guys, and other such sustaining and protecting fixtures to be owned and used in common by your petitioners along and across the following public ways or ways. Um, Mill Village Road, place one jointly owned pole number T 21 and a half E 49 dash 50 on the westerly side of Mill Village Road at a point approximately 977 feet uh, southerly from the center line of Child's Cross Road and also at Mill Village Road place one jointly owned pole numbered T 22 and a half E 48 dash 50 on the westerly side of Mill Village Road at, approx at a point approximately 1,037 feet southerly from the center line of Child's Cross Road. Uh, the reason for this is to place two jointly owned poles on Mill Village Road to accommodate an electrical upgrade and to provide for the transmission and or distribution of intelligence and telecommunications and for the transmission of high and low voltage electrical current, uh, Deerfield Select Board. So um, hearing is open. Anybody here to speak on the issue? Ah, come on up. Thank you. Hmm. Welcome. Hmm. Good evening. Good evening. <sighs> Name is Paul Davis um, from Pike Telecom. I am here tonight representing Verizon on their behalf. Uh, basically, you said most of it. The only thing I have to add is that Eversource, well, the polls being petitioned tonight, Eversource requested these polls to be set by Verizon. It's okay. Verizon's responsibility to set the polls in that area. And again, like you said, the polls are to provide electrical upgrade for Eversource basically in that area. So. Okay. Okay. Does that mean, is there something uh, going in in that location at these higher well, voltages? Is pretty, that the, pretty close to the grow operations and stuff. Yes. I would imagine, right? Yes. The, yeah. The yeah. Yops new, yeah, new right. facility. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, Kevin, any comments? Or yes. You, okay, please come on up. This is Kevin Scarborough, our uh, DPW chief. I know. I know. Um, the only thing I'm really concerned about, <clears throat> excuse me, is I understand exactly where they're going to be putting these poles in. And from my paved road edge to the fence, I'm only talking presently right now less than two feet, two and a half feet. It's really, really super tight. And I just want to make sure that the pole goes. I, I'd like to just work with them setting the pole itself. Um, but obviously, we would have to look and see exactly how far off the edge of the road is actually public right of way. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I'm not saying you know, I don't want this thing 15 feet inside, but to be honest with you, it's probably going to be on the other side of the, the cow fence. And the reason why is because that is so tight there. And if we put a pole right there, especially in that corner area, I really don't want to be whacking that thing with a plow, to be honest with you. So there's there's one, uh, well, there's three poles in location now, and you're dropping, you know, one on either side of looks like T22 E49. Yeah. Um, and that pole does look really close to the edge of road. Um, those are both on the west side, correct? Yes. Yeah, yeah that's By, the west yes, side where the, the west side. Yep. fence is. Mel, that's Melnick's fence is what it is. Oh, okay. Um, <clears throat> oh, I see what you mean, yeah. Um, is that part of the town right away where you're going to be putting the poles? Or no? 
Well, that's what I'm trying to figure out is, is we need to look at it real quick. I mean, because the way it stands right now, and, and I'm not saying anything against the, the fence that's there right now, but I believe if somebody was to be putting in a fence, that fence would be probably at least another six feet away from the edge of the road. Um, with that being said, it's, it's, it's tight to the road, and if we try and put a pole there on the, the road side of the fence, there's going to be an issue. And, they're, uh, and so you're leaving in that other one right in between, right? Is that yes. the idea? So you're yep. just putting two on either side of that? Right. So that's five poles and a short span. But. So that, that's really my only concern is just actual placement, yep. you know, away from the road. Um, you know, because I know I've got two poles on River Road that are a foot and a half off the edge of the road, and you can see a couple places where they get skinned now and then. With the plows, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Did, uh, did you take a look at the uh, poll locations? I did not. Um, to be honest with you, I was aware of this this afternoon, and I looked at the yeah. paperwork yeah. real quick. I have not been out to see it. So, As far as I know, there, there are stakes um, yep. okay, that were cool. placed, but they were placed back last August. So okay. whether they're still there or not, that might be a whole issue okay. in No, itself. I can take a quick peek tomorrow. That's not um, a big deal. But typically, um, typically, our field people try to stake the locations at least mm -hmm. four feet off the edge of the road. I'd be happy with that. So, Good. thank you. Um, <laughs> it, it, I, I didn't right. see the stakes myself. But the four feet is probably going to be on the other side of the fence. Right. Okay. Okay. Right. So, because we run into this issue pretty much with most towns and cities, m more towns than cities, where um, the plows are an mm -hmm. issue. And we try to get them at least four feet, if, if we could, five feet yeah. minimally. I'm, so, I'm super happy um, with four. Thank you. So yeah, so I'll, I'll double check that to make sure that there are at least. Okay. And I'll take feet. a quick peek tomorrow. Okay. So I can pop over. Like yeah. I said, it was late afternoon. By the time I, yeah. I looked at it real quick, and I was like, oh, okay. Okay. So cool. Kevin, thank you, thank you for bringing it up, though. Mm. I appreciate that. Not a problem. Let's cross. See, uh, oh, where's Charles? You're leaving the existing poles and just putting two new poles, huh? Right yes. The existing oh, yeah. pole in between the two. Yeah. Is it yeah. because of the integrity of the existing poles, or is it? Um, it seems a weird placement to me. Maybe I'm wrong. But it's pretty tight. Right. Yeah. So according to the petition, again, the legend is saying that existing pole T22E49 will remain. Yeah. Um, again, I can't speak for Eversource and what they're placing for equipment. I was hoping they'd be here tonight so that they could explain what it is that they're putting in. Right. Um, so when I looked at this myself, I, I looked at it saying 30 feet on both sides. It's kind of odd. But then again, I don't know what type of equipment they're putting in, to be honest with you. So, yeah. Is um, there three-phase three power going down through there now? I, again, I you can't speak for them because yeah. I I'm not an electric guy, so. It just, if they're bringing three-phase power in that's not there, they're going to need a lot more poles than just two. Right, so. I think they would have to have three-phase power there just for the Melnix. Um, digester? Yeah. Oh, okay. Except that yeah. goes out the other side, I think. Yeah. Okay. I'd, well, I'm not 100% sure. I'm just asking. It's just, uh, yeah. you know, it's just. Not sure. They did all that work earlier. Yeah. You know, when they hooked it up. Mm -hmm. Um, and when um, so are you are you comfortable if you work work with them to make sure you're good to go? Good. We don't need to postpone or anything no, to have no. anything researched. Okay, no. all right. I mean, if you're good with that, you can work with them. I'm happy with that. Thank you for working with Kevin, so that going. we can vote this. Yeah, not, um, not make you come out again. Yeah, I'll double check the the stakes myself. Okay. And again, I'll I'll verify that they're at least four feet off the edge of the road. Okay. And if not, then I will. Is it Kevin? Yeah. yeah. I'll notify Kevin that um, you know they'll be they'll have to be moved back or whatever needs to be adjusted for the plow situation. Because okay. I mean you've got one right there in the middle. Obviously, you would move all three then, right? No, or not? I mean, if you got the only thing I'm concerned about is that they're they're away from the road. Enough enough so the plow can go. Enough, as long as, as okay. Long as if, if it's on the opposite side of the fence. I'm more than happy. Right, right. Okay. Thank you. So, um, take a motion to close the hearing. Uh, or is there any motion. other discussion on no. public comment on that? No? 
Um, motion to close the hearing. I'll make the motion to close okay. the hearing. I'll second it. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 So hearing is closed. Um, is it in the folder, the paperwork? Yep. Is that oh, and is there two copies? I think oh, the I see. Yep, are in this the is a copy here. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, so make a motion to approve the poll location. Uh, I make that to motion to uh, approve the poll lo locations subject to um, Kevin's input. Input. Great. I'll second it. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, thank you very much. Okay, I really thank you. appreciate you coming out tonight to Thanks. help us with that. Um, and thank you, Kevin, for doing that. Uh, is there anything we need to, that's as a clerk. Oh, we right back here. I think there's actually three of those that okay. you sign. Okay. And one for each. One. Yeah. Thank you very much. Vote to close the hearing? Yes, we did. We did. We closed and voted, and we are good to go. Awesome. Thank you. Let's see, we have um, no consent agenda, no minutes yet. Uh, so any select board, board of health announcements at the moment, or you want to get into old business and new business? Well, I, I just want to make sure people are aware that we have a special town meeting on mm -hmm. January 29th. Um, it's to vote the match for Kelleher Drive. So we certainly hope at least the people in Kelleher Drive show up. We need 35 people to vote, so please come. It's our, um, to basically it's our come up with a 25% match to the 75% from the state for Kelleher Drive. So, so we have, um, if you're around for the last meeting, we, we have, um, we believe we're in really good shape to secure a grant, um, which would be the third or fourth? Fourth. Fourth, fourth time that, um, that the state has um, awarded us a grant for MVP, which is uh, Municipal Vulnerability Preparedness. And we've been using a lot of that money to do infrastructure um, work and, and design work as it related to culverts and all. So um, one of the major issues um, that we have in town is a culvert right across from Frontier, which is Kelleher Drive. It goes under um, Kelleher Drive and, and, and uh, North Main Street, and that culvert's failing. And it's a lot of money to fix, and we were lucky enough to get um, the state to uh, give us grant money for the design work. Usually, you can't get money for any grants, never really pay for design. This program has been exceptional in that it pays for design work. So And permitting. And permitting, so, and which is difficult with waterways. So, here, uh, so we, we did cost. get a bunch of, um, we got money to do that, and then we're hoping that we would get um, the money to to fix the work, you know, to do the culvert work itself. And so we have a, um, a grant match of and, about $196,000, um, which is 25%. So you can imagine how big the project is that they'd be paying for. So we are, are going to vote tonight our, um, our special town meeting. We really need uh, 30, at least 35 people to show up to have a quorum. And um, this is a great cause to get some good money. So 
you have any questions on any of that, just reach out to us. Um, do we need to take a vote on this? or have No, we you actually voted on um, Friday. That's just for Barbara's book. Oh, okay, we, we posted the warrant yep, this morning. Perfect. Um, this is, you're going to announce this. Okay. Okay, so um, connection to all the climate change and preparedness, vulnerability preparedness stuff. Um, so Deerfield um, is going to host a, um, and I posted this online, um, Deerfield is going to host a climate change forum. Um, so the town of Deerfield invites all town residents to participate in a forum on climate resiliency, Deerfield 2030. Uh, scheduled for Saturday, February 29th, 2020, from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. at Frontier Regional High School. Uh, the goal of the, for of the forum is to inform and motivate residents about actions they can take that will make a difference on climate change and climate resiliency. The forum will feature workshops on um, a wide variety of topics, including understanding climate change and its impacts, homeowner strategies for reducing carbon footprint, forest land management, wildlife impacts on in uh, changing climate, uh, moving towards a net zero or zero energy buildings, uh, student activities to address climate change, climate resiliency uh, for agricultural activities, um, green infrastructure and green energy strategies for Deerfield, um, and design a charrette for downtown vision, complete streets, uh, complete and green streets. So those are different grant programs we're working on to uh, revitalize our downtown streets. Um, so the forum is free and open to all, and a free lunch will be provided. Uh, residents are asked to pre-register by calling or e emailing the Deerfield Select Board office at 413-665-1400, um, extension 111, or email um, uh, patk at town.deerfield.ma.us. Um, and for more information, you can contact Christopher Curtis. Who's do? And I'll, we'll post all this online. Yeah, on I won't read all that stuff. But yeah. this is um, he's our, our uh, consultant working with us on a lot of this, and Kaylin's been spearheading a lot of this as well. So please, um, come and, and join we have us. Um, we're hoping to have a community garden available for people um, who want to try organic gardening right at Bloody Brook Farm. Um, it's exciting. Yeah, which is really exciting. Um, 10 by 10 plots or 10 by 20 plots will be available. We'll have sign up on that day. Um, we're just kind of working out some of the details, you know, liability issues and stuff like that. But it's very exciting um, and it would be a wonderful thing if people, you know, opportunity Get a nice people. community garden yeah. going. That'd yeah. be great. That'd be great. For sure. For us older folks who don't know Buddy Brook Farm, it's the old Yazwinski Farm. <laughs> right, right on North Main Street. Mm. Yep. Um, and also, um, we're going to have a tabletop uh, drill on March 2nd um, for um, emergency dispensing of what are emerging. We don't really know what um, the scenario is because you're not supposed to know. But since I'm on the planning committee, I kind of know what it is. <laughs> but anyway, we're, we'll be practicing because we haven't been able to practice our drive through um, uh, dispensing site, uh, we're going to have um, the tabletop. So that will energize our uh, and update our volunteer list because we have over a hundred volunteers that have stepped forward over the years and we want to make sure that they um, we keep contact and that keep updated in case there seriously is something that we have to do. Um, and then um, as I mentioned in, before in the past, we have um, a tabletop exercise coming up. We don't have a date yet. It will be this spring um, if there was a breach at Great River Hydro's dam, uh, Harriman Dam. Um, we're working on that a, as a call-out call tabletop so that we have some idea of what would happen um, and really work out the details and, and go from the plan, start to, you know, st at the very beginning to the end on how that would be managed the call out because um, there's a few gaps and we want to <coughs> make sure that um, it's addressed. Homeland Security has um, supported that, voted and supported that exercise. So that's coming up. And the, our entire emergency team, including Kevin, will be involved in that. So um, we're looking forward to that as well. Great. Anything else? Good to go. Um, so, um, oh, just the Merck. 
I can see that it was down here, but I just wanted to absolutely make sure we did not send the MRF contract to um, DEP. Okay. Did we? No, right. It, you have you have a whole packet with instructions okay. of exactly what to do. Okay. <laughs> and you just, have something from Elena that came just this afternoon. I did. I, I read that. Yeah. For you. I no, that I know. Well. I just wanted to make yeah. sure it didn't go yeah. out. Okay. No, it's yeah. it's in your packet. All, all with right. all the instructions of exactly okay. what to do. Okay. Looking at Kevin, it, all of a sudden it <laughs> reminded me. I'm like, oh my God, we got to remember to do that. Okay. Um, well, we can come back to the old business, I think, after. Why don't we jump down to new business sure, and just start sure. rolling through this stuff. Our first um, item under new business is a request for a sewer abatement at 6 Robs Way, South Deerfield. Um, new homeowners entitled to, uh, entitled to no abatement without winter reading history. So maybe I invite you up to tell us about your issue and how, how we Great. can try how and help. How you doing, guys? Good. Hi, good. My name is Matt O'Brien. Uh, we live hey, at Six Robs Ways. My wife, Kimberly. Hi, Kimberly. Welcome. Hi. So, uh, yeah, we moved in um, in in July. Okay. And uh, love it. Love the town. Everything else. Good. Thank you. Welcome. So, yeah, basically, we ended up getting our sewer bill um, after the last reading was done for for water. Welcome to Deerfield. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> we were a little surprised by the cost of yep. uh, twenty six hundred and thirty four dollars. Yep. Um, and so I was a little confused, came down, kind of learned about the, the, the readings and how, how the whole process works here at the town. Uh, I actually spoke to Diane at one point a couple right. weeks back, just trying to understand if there was anyone we could talk to, which leads us to being here tonight. So, Thank you. Um, essentially, you know, the way we understand it is that you require a winter reading or winter usage rate. Uh, in order to calculate the summer rate at 150% of winter rate. 125. 125. Yep. 125. Yes, oh, correct. okay. I was yep. using 150 on my yep. calculations here, so <laughs> even better. So uh, anyhow, so based on, you know, obviously we moved in in June, so it kind of just moved in in the wrong month, I guess. Yeah. Um, so what ended up happening is, you know, if, if our, um, the person we bought the home from didn't move, right. I used 150%. I calculated the water bill, uh, the sewer bill would have been $328. Uh, as opposed to 2634. So I understand this would be kind of like a moot point next year for us because right, we will have established a winter usage rate. Right. Um, but I wanted to, you know, approach you all to see if there is anything as far as exceptions to that. Um, right. You know, the way it kind of seems is just, you know, essentially we kind of just moved in the wrong month. Yeah, and um, I, I had um, I had heard about this a little bit and hadn't had a chance to really dig in yet, but I... Um, I think what, what I had understood was that um, I didn't know that there wasn't a policy to uh, take into account. You know, it's hard to take into account what another person uses, but there's got... Um, I How many people like live weird. at your address? Three. 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 So oh. it's, you know, and there were two that was, you know, yeah. we know who yeah. lived there before. Um, and, you know, there's irrigation involved. And sure. so we know he runs that, you know, most of the summer. And, and so then... Um, I'm certainly not objecting to the water bill. I, we oh. definitely use the water. We of just course. didn't put it down. The sewer. Right. Yeah. And I and I think. Um, I, I don't have a problem with it. Um, I don't either. But I also just want to think about this holistically and how do we, um, how do we set a policy so that um, another couple is not here next year or how, you know right. going forward how do we um, account for. Um, not knowing their usage and all, but come up with some sort of uh, percentage so that they, they're not paying that full, you know, they can take advantage as everybody else would have normally taken advantage of that um, without having a solid um, reading to go after. But um, I think it has to be based on the number of occupants. Um, mm -hmm. You know, uh, how many showers of, are a person going to take and how many toilets are going to be flushed and all that. So yeah, if you have a house uh, of 10, I mean, it's a different story of a house it, of two. Yeah. I yeah. had some thoughts, but I didn't want to put any of that in writing in, yeah. my, uh, <laughs> oh, no, go ahead. in my justification. But I uh, yep. no, appreciate it. You know, we have the two of us, some Kimberly O'Brien, and we have a, a five-year-old daughter. Yeah. So, um, and so appreciate the consideration for, for fairness sure. because I think just reasonableness would suggest that that's not our s full sewer usage and of so no. appreciate the consideration that yes. you apply the policy to us in terms of um, and I agree to set a policy on what the formula should yeah. be and calculations and formulas are not my strong point but there's different approaches yeah. um, you know one thing I would suggest um, the previous owners were a two adult household 
yep. you know, we're two adults and a child. Um, so you do want a policy that can apply to future cases. Yeah. But one argument I would make is that the uh, the account is the the parcel is the the, the residence is the address right. and even our own bill showed some of that of that history of those yes. readings that were tied to the parcel years back in, yeah in, in, tied to the address and the address still a single family um, owner occupied home it's not we have used it as a you know, Airbnb or oh, okay. yep. it's not commercial property so um, so one approach would be to use the <coughs> the last uh, spring reading for winter usage. Mm -hmm. um, or to come up with, and I lay out some alternatives there, and there's probably a, plenty of other ways to approach it and think about it. And, you know, we want to pay our, you know, fair share. Sure. And, but we would love for the abatement to uh, apply, the abatement policy, otherwise it feels like we're in this <clears throat> probationary period as, res as new residents. <laughs> So. We want to welcome you, yeah. <laughs> drive you away. Um, but I, um, it is quite a jump in usage, right, from, from uh, history. What are you irrigating? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, well, I, I, Not a cash crop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think he was just excited it ended up, to it have a lawn. It ended up being a really nice lawn, lawn but yeah. yeah. <laughs> it ended up being a nice lawn, but yeah, no, no yeah. real farming or anything. We had about uh, 20 foot or by 20 foot lawn before, so we, yeah, we got a little excited. <laughs> I think, uh, you know, what I had done, we moved in, I just had kept the, the irrigation yeah. settings at, at yeah. what they were previously. Right. I'm like, well, the lawn looked good when we moved in, so yeah, we'll just kind of, as sort of the summer went on, I was like, ah, maybe we're running a little too much water on this and kind of dialed it back, but... Yeah, I mean, essentially, the, the high water usage is from yeah. irrigation, obviously. Yeah, sure, um, sure. Not showers not or so whatever. In, in fact, I kind of yeah. just was calculating, and just as an exercise for myself, water usage per minute through a shower. And, you know, it sort of ended up being the equivalent of, I think it was like 48 days of running the shower 24-7 down the sewer. Which, right. You know, that, we know so, that's again, like we said, case. we're looking to, you know. It's nice and clean. Yeah, that's right. yeah. So, you know, totally looking to pay our uh, our way and everything else, but just didn't know if there could be some sort of yeah. policy adjustment in this particular case. Would and of you, course, maybe particularly moving forward for you all uh, as new residents, maybe move in. But. Anything? You, could you give us a, like a week or so to kind of hammer through this a little bit and just make sure that we're fair in what we're doing and sure. um, instead of just on the spot here right now doing that um, yeah absolutely if I could take a little time to come up with that and then yeah. set you know set a policy for going I think forward we could for vote that are... um, I think we could vote the abatement and then uh, refer to you to oh we got to know what the abatement is so yeah oh I guess uh, we have to yeah, actually vote the yeah. or so. abatement Not sure long. I yeah, just yeah, wanted yeah, no to kind of take yep. a minute to go through it um, and make sure that I no, it'd be the after next, listening to you and hearing it two week meeting yeah, a couple, couple weeks. Uh, yeah. To the 29th we've got to go is to, our next meeting. Sure. We've got to go to Boston We'd, next week. So. Kevin, uh, just the, a little while ago, the Water District was entertaining separate meters for irrigation. Are they still doing that? We're actually doing that here at Town Hall. Mm -hmm. So you have two meters, one's for irrigation. Yeah, sure. you could put in a second meter so that you're yeah, not I mean, ever I don't know paying if that's for possible it. or whatever. We and can that's do that. another sure. yeah, another policy we've been trying to figure out as well because that's a lot of accounting and who reads the meter and then right. who's responsible for the because <clears throat> what happens in this town is um, our water department is not the town. It's right. a totally different issue found out the different sure. districts. So <laughs> we they've been they've been generous enough to give us their labor and going to read those meters and that's mm -hmm. how we kind of do that. But when we get multiple meters, they're only gonna read the one into the house. So gotcha. it, then like with Frontier, we have a deal where the custodian over there reads the meter, takes a photo, sends it to us. So <coughs> it creates you know quite a bit more work to do those separate meters. So we'll have to do the same thing in town here too to account for that. So we're trying to kind of figure out a policy and who yeah. does what. I mean, you know, sort of for us obviously, and I would assume anyone else who might be kind of ended up in the same situation. Yeah. It's really only the first year issue. It is, yeah. After so, that, you, you know, know I don't know if you really are. need to put, you know, the exactly. cost of putting in secondary meters and all that, because mm -hmm. sort of this would be, this will figure yep. itself out for it next will. year. It's just that first year when you move in after May, basically, right? right? And not, not, not being able to take advantage of that, yeah, right. depending on what year you move in. But are yep. you saying that currently there is, voluntarily, you could put in a second meter? Well, what? not, oh. I mean, not yet. So oh, that's okay. not a policy that we oh, have no. at the moment. We're doing it for our municipality. Like we only really have one and that's Frontier who waters the school fields. Um, yep. And then we have fields here at town, but right now the town got hit with a 
a large sewer bill too because we've been watering the field. So we're looking at separating out those two things. But there's, you know, there's farmers in town, there's residents. So we've got to really come up with a, I think there needs to be spent some time on the sewer and watering and these kind of policy issues that we've got to get, there get are our head around. with secondary. Yeah. Um, you know, meters, yeah. meters. So and then as a matter of process, then this will be continued until the yeah, next meeting? I, and yeah, on the 29th. We'll put, I think we'll, we'll we put would, it under old business. On yeah, the next yeah, we, we okay. would vote the actual amount because um, Trevor's correct. We, we have to have an actual abatement amount to vote. So I was thinking we could just vote. Uh, we're agreeing that you deserve We will an do an abatement. abatement. We just got to yeah. figure and, out and, how much and that and is. How you know, and, and just leave it up to, forward, so to Trevor, but we actually have to vote the actual dollar amount. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so, yeah, we'll tackle that Because it's money, you know, we're you. giving you back money. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. we'll credit it. Yeah, we'll we, yeah. we have to actually vote we're the actual back. amount. Yeah. But That's fine. Yeah. Thank you very much. Appreciate well, thank you and welcome to Deerfield. I'm so yeah. happy you moved yeah. to town. Thanks. Thanks. Really thank welcome. you for coming <laughs> to our yeah, right. <laughs> well, We appreciate consideration. And thanks for your time. Yeah, okay. thank you. All right. Thank yeah, you guys for coming thanks. in. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Nice to see you. Um, so, the MRF contract. Yeah, so the next thing I do have is the final version of the MRF contracts, which okay. you see Jan is saying, do not send any signed contracts, but she is recommending at this point we do sign the agreement, and this was just an email, um, this was last Wednesday, so I don't think I there's been anything this. Yep. further since then, I haven't seen. I think um, we did sign this already, right? We just didn't send it on. I don't believe you've signed it, because it had been in, in I think I we thought, were. I, I thought we did sign it, but. Because um, she didn't. called me, no and you didn't I told her I thought I signed it. I thought we voted to sign it, and we were we just going to hang on to it. But all I right, just we wanted can do to again. be clear that we don't send um, it on. And let me just, and I know that, yeah, there was an email out from the, um, from Senator Comerford's office today yeah. that they I've got that there for yeah, you, too, right and there. Natalie and her are, Somewhere. and and other residents, too, other representatives are also it's looking at this. That paper next to you, Trevor. Under this one? Oh, okay, I see you. Yep. Yeah, that was the one I read. Um, so, yeah, this is a big hit for a lot of towns. It's, it's um, as so, people probably read in the, in the newspaper. Um, so you, you will get it to Jan Amin tomorrow? Yes. Okay. So uh, just so people are aware. Um, but here's the original contract. Okay, we'll sign that. Uh, you know, Deerfield does a great job recycling. I mean, if you look at the other towns, there was a chart in the newspaper a while back. Um, we do a very good job recycling, which is great, but it, it winds up, you know, the tonnage that we recycle, um, we will pay an additional, we used to get kind of money for the recycling or break even, and next year we'll be budgeting around $27,630 a year. That's a lot of money that we, you know, have to find. and now pay for so um basically that line item went up eight thousand dollars yeah is what it worked out to because in the past i've, I've had 20 twenty thousand as my budget number yep and looking at the numbers i i that i put in today right. was uh twenty eight thousand okay that hurts yeah it does um because it takes my percentage and tosses it right out the window yep well i know but. Try to do level funded, everyone says level funding, and then you wind up with with this stuff that hits you and you have no control over it. And this is a, this I believe is a 10 year, 10 year uh, contract. So that's every year. Um, there, I mean, there is, there talk are, about some other stuff we could maybe do, right? Is there? Well, um, they would prefer not to have any glass because right. glass is, is brutal on their equipment and it's difficult to get rid of. Yep. Janamine through Franklin County Solid Waste District has been hunting around doing her due diligence and she believes that she found a place that is looking for glass. Hmm. And it's a place, I believe it was out of Canada and they're gonna be making fiberglass insulation with it. Okay. The closest, I believe, the closest drop off point was going to be South Hadley because oh. this company was going oh, well, to have different drop-off yeah. points yep. for the glass, so that way it could be collected at those few places and then brought to Canada. Right. 
So with that being said, we're going to pay $93 and some odd cents a ton if we keep the glass in. If we take the glass out, we're going to be paying $88 a ton. It was like five bucks a ton. So, but we're still going to end up having to pay the trucking. We're right. still going to end up having to pay for Time. a container. Yep. So, so realistically, people. what I'd really like to do in some aspects is I would like to see, and, and maybe this is just me being vindictive, <laughs> but I would like to see what the numbers are. And if there's no cost savings, then you know what, Murph? You're getting our glass. Yeah. If we're not going to make out in the deal, then why should we? You know, my, my opinion, this is just the personal opinion, is looking at that contract, DEP did not do anybody in this state any justice whatsoever. No. Nope. Zero. They have the opportunity within 30 days, write a letter and say we're done. We're stuck with this contract forever until, until the end of the contract. We cannot pull out. If, if it's a five-year contract in three years, we pull out the last two years, okay, well, let's see. Let's see. You would have paid us yep. 300000 so you owe us $600,000. Right. for not doing anything right that's so not you're right stuck for 10 years you know what's good for one should be good for the other if you can pull out then we can pull out but you there know. is and no and other like we could not no sign no this. there's there really there's not else. a whole lot unless we attempted and you're looking at a real nightmare of attempting to try and get rid of our own stuff yeah you know so we you would have to try and find a source to try and get rid of all our plastic you'd have to you know, the tin wouldn't be a problem because you can just bring that up to Kramer's. Right. And then you're still going to end up having to try and find some place to get rid of the glass. Yeah. Presently right now, what most of them do is they grind the glass and they go ahead and they use it for, for covering of landfills. Well, but since Chickabee is done, asphalt, but capped. No, did they? There was no, they, 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 they did that. do that. That was like 15, 20 years uh, ago. It was actually, it was 24 years ago because that work? was what we paved the uh, fire department yeah. parking lot with. And, and I remember bicycles going through there and getting flat tires. So <laughs> same, same thing with the bike pass. They did the same thing. Is that right? Yep. Okay. But yeah, no, they don't put glass in anymore. Right. It's, it's more polymers now. Yeah. Um, yeah. Makes them more pliable. It, right. it supposedly makes them last longer. It's, it's, the, it's the new specification. They call it super pave. Yeah, and they're looking at like drainage too. So it, it kind Correct. of sheds water a lot yep. easier and stuff. Exactly. So. All right. So, so, so as far as is that contract here, my my recommendation is to go ahead and sign it and send it to Jan, and let her, and then and then see where the whole thing plays out. Because otherwise, us trying to, because if we don't, my understanding is we don't have that thing signed, we're out, or something, yes. we're out. Right. And if we're out, we're out for good. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be. Well, the reason why I feel comfortable sending it to Jan is because everybody is, as far as I know, almost all the towns are doing the same boat. The, the same they're in the same boat. Yeah. Correct. So all the regional meetings that I've been going to in this past month, everybody is like, send the contract to Jan. Send right. the contract yep. to Jan. And so we're going to make them sweat a little. But I think what we've got to do is we've got to go um, down when we go to the MMA. Because yeah, remember they were talking about. about facilities being up and running. Yep. Then I think what we need to do is I think this 10-year contract, this is just my opinion, but the 10-year contract is reflective of the fact that all these facilities will be up and running like in Pennsylvania and New York, and um, they're, they are trying to lock in a more advantageous thing. So what we have to do in that meeting is, is when we have the whole Western Mass group right. meeting, yes. we have to bring that up and say we've got to push back and do something about this and mm -hmm. and then find out the status of all those um, facilities because I think we have an opportunity actually so between now but we have mm -hmm. to sign it and Jan has to hold it because they yep. have if we don't sign it and they and Jan doesn't get it down there for the 31st then we we're are stuck. in trouble yeah but okay there's still a couple weeks here mm -hmm. that we're going to be fussing around, and I think it's worth fussing around. Oh, oh, definitely. I mean, I would definitely give it to Jen and let her, let, I mean, because yeah. she will hold that right to the last minute. To make sure. You know, you know the, the 31st, she'll bring that in at like 2.55 in the afternoon. I know. Is, is what but she'll do. We might be up. able to do, to have more conversations down at the MMA that sure. right. might. Exactly. We, because we have an all-Western Mass meeting right. um, scheduled, and we, I think it's really worth you know, I mean, problem, I'm sure that's one of the things that's going to come up. It, it, I think it's great that, you know, they've got other places that are opening up, some, some MRFs, some recycling centers that they're, they're opening up. The only problem with that is, is now you're looking at trucking. You know, mm -hmm. the trucking is going to kill you to go from here to Pennsylvania or here to New York and stuff like that. But, I know. Well, very good example. Look at our, look at our sludge. Look, we're paying for transportation and sludge. 
fortune. Um, I know, but it's, there was it's going to be somewhat kind of the same thing. But I understand exactly where you're coming from. There, there's an opportunity which should definitely be. There's investigated. three or four facilities that were will have the capacity to replace China, mm -hmm. and so, and that's really what the problem was. I mean, that's what we were told last year right. that these facilities are coming along, but they were in the pipeline, and I mean, it takes a while. Oh, to I see what you're saying. Okay, yeah. yeah. So. Uh, it doesn't mean that, I mean, there still could be a regional collection mm -hmm. and then no, somehow understood. some yep. shipping out. I don't know. Um, let's see. All right. Okay. And we're dual stream, right? Correct. We are yeah. dual stream. I think Orange was single. That's why I'm getting Correct. Maybe Which, we should jump and, down. And the, the basically, the difference is between ADA. single stream and dual stream. The single stream means the paper, the glass, tent, everything is all in one container. And we're dual, dual stream, stream. We're dual. so we're we, dual. we separate we're out money. our yeah. our uh, orange was single stream. Our paper, yeah. um, and that's one, why we were impacted a little bit less initially. Correct. Right. That is correct. Yeah, because if you're a single stream, you're going up to like I believe it was 150 dollars a ton. It's huge. Yeah. yeah. It was it was pretty it was pretty was dramatic. Yeah. Yeah. The <clears> only <throat> way we could save money is if people didn't like didn't buy as much. <laughs> you didn't have to recycle right. so exactly. much. So, yeah. like, it's you know, packaging. get a water bottle instead of multiple right. plastic jugs, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> so there's ways Skip. that we can all do that. We'll talk about that <laughs> February 29th at the uh, climate change. Yes. Because this plastic winds up in our oceans, and it's important right. what yeah. we're doing. It all comes back to money. Mm -hmm. So Agreed. And our environment. So please. So I'll entertain a motion to sign the contract. I make that motion. I'll well second. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Kevin, is there anything else that you wanted to talk to us about? Yeah, the next one. Yep. Oh, okay. Oh, the shed? Yep. Oh, yes, sorry. Yeah. And the next one? <laughs> sorry, I didn't see that. And oh, the next one? one after that. Oh, that's the DLTA thing, just in case there's any I, questions. I was looking at the ADA thing, and I was <coughs> How did I miss the? And then you'll date this, right? Yes. Sure, sure. Yeah. Okay, good. Um, and this goes underneath that, I guess, goes with that. So the next item is um, the review and sign an agreement for a. Under? Yes, under, thank you. Uh, under, uh, let's see, for review and sign an agreement for a reuse shed to be located at the transfer station. So. This probably got more comments than anything on a Facebook. Yeah, you know, and, 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 and here's the funny thing is, is, is this is not something that was pushed through by no. people. No, we've been talking about this This, 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 this well, this shed is being um, funded by DEP. Okay. I put in the grant application along with Janamine from a while ago. Franklin County Solid Waste nine or ten months ago. Right. So we finally got the contract back, and they said this is what it can be up to a certain amount, which I believe was like $6,500. Yep. So we got a really nice 6, shed. Yep. Um, and and I, I definitely, it's, it's good because I just as soon see something being reused compared to just being chucked. Um, the problem I do have, and, and I've already come up with a plan, <clears throat> to me, is the stuff, we're, we're going to do our best to keep an eye on it yeah. when we're there. But there's going to be people in town that are going to drop stuff because they don't want to pay to get rid of it. Right. I'm sorry. It's just yeah, a fact. It will happen. So when that happens, what we're going to be doing is we're taking a picture of it, we're weighing it, and then we're going to throw it away. And then in six months, I'm going to go, here are all the pictures, and because of this reuse shed, the people are not using it properly. It costs the town four tons, three tons, a ton, whatever it may be. So that way we can have a track of what's going on. Again, I, I, I definitely agree with the reuse shed. I, I support it 100%. Mm -hmm. It's good for us because that gives us two more points for our DEP, right. which is good. Yep. So right now we are, we are maxed out on what we can get from DEP for, for, points. for points for our, our transfer station. So how do you envision it working? To well, I'd like, to, like to have, I'd like to see something that, that's an, obviously an enclosed shed, so that way if there's something that's in there that right. needs to stay you know, dry. Sure. Um, but I'd like to see something that between the salt shed and the blue building, put it right there, so that way the person that's running the recycling can kind of keep, keep a, an eye on half it. an eye on it. It'd be there. It's not going to be in the way for snow removal. 
you know, so I'm just trying can to think you, of. Can you, how about one of those containers that we rent already from Janamine? Aren't they like 20 bucks a month? Well, right account. now I think we're paying like 30, I think. I think it was like 30. But, so if we just rent another container, it's all self-contained. It's only 30 bucks a month. And then if this doesn't I'd work. Put some lights in there. It'd be pretty dark, right? Yeah, but you could, mm -hmm. you could just put in the. You know those hanging things are hang, yeah. closet and then but the, but it's right it would clapper it's narrow the it's narrow we just slip new. in and if this doesn't work that. we just get rid of it yeah because we're we there has to be i mean i'm sure okay, just, 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 I mean, just, just a back up a thing. second if here. i can back up 2.5 seconds yes sure. you buy new with a dep or we do something completely different okay so because we because to, we are the ones that changed how dep money is spent because when they gave us the $14,000 for the new compactor, we thought it up and said, you know what? We can get two for the price of one. Right. So that's what we did. And then they said, you can't do that. And we said, show us where it says you can't. Right. Now that's why it says why you can't. Because uh, oh. so, we were more frugal. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So, so, I, so I tried us? to buy, so you, whatever you, if you buy something with this grant through DEP, it has to be new. It cannot okay. be used. All right. You cannot so you use, can't this. use the ch you can't use one of those little containers. Maybe you can buy you can a brand use, new you one. You can buy one, brand new one. Yeah. Okay. Do we but have you, enough but you money? can't you can't rent it. Right. You can't okay. borrow. You can so borrow it. So do we have enough money to rent? I mean, to buy one of those little containers? Oh yeah. So oh, okay. We could it look at that or me, something else. But so my my question though is more. I, I don't want to. Uh, yeah, I just didn't want to invest into something. Well, it's not so much where it goes. It's it's um, it's how it uh, how it gets. Process like I, I don't want to see a bed show up, right? Or mm. gigantic furniture, mm. right? This is not a. Um, there's other places. There's other other avenues for you to get rid of your bulky items. Correct. There's you know Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace. There's all kinds of ways that you can get rid of your stuff at your house. Um, I envision this more as small items. Uh, Correct. Set of new dishes or. You know, a uh, crock pot that still works, or uh, you know, something exactly. like exactly. that that yeah. people want, not their trash. We're right. not taking their trash. Right. We're not dumping their trash for Correct. them. Or like or you said, guys. instead of you know, this thing has got a table's got three legs. I'm going to say maybe somebody wants it, and I'll have to pay ten bucks to put it in the dumpster. That's not what this is. So it will Correct. take some um, some serious uh, oversight when it first starts, and right. and. That's not uh, fair to always put on um, town employees to have to deal with that. So mm -hmm. I just want to make sure that there's a uh, – I mean, there must be other um, towns that have done this before and set policies in yeah, place policy for this stuff. Yeah, policy needs to be put into place. Yeah, no before doubt. this thing gets set up and, and everybody just starts bringing whatever broken thing they but want to bring But that's why I was there. thinking if we had, the, like, a container. Then it's small enough. Small, we'll slip in. Uh, and then if it doesn't work, you can use it for something else. But it definitely needs to be kind of monitored. And I, don't, I just want to think about how that it's not really fair to the people that are working there to have to kind but, of. But right. having the person, we, we have an attendant down by the recycles, so he can have eyes on that. To, to a point, but again, Jim, to, like to go. Jim is great, uh -huh. like, and, and Bud, they'll look at that, and they're like, nah. All right, to go to, go to Trevor's part, what, what I'm concerned about is the employees getting into some type of uh, altercation or an argument with yeah. a resident. Right. You, you know, don't tell a resident's going to be pushing, and, it, and it's just an arbitrary. It could be, yep. it could never happen, but I'm looking at the dark side because I need to make sure that our people are yeah. covered. Right. Is somebody comes up with something, it's, it's garbage. They know it's garbage. They're trying to just not throw it away. And our employee goes and says, no, that's garbage. And then they get offended. Right. And then all of a sudden it turns into an argument. Right. And then all it of a sudden the employee, the, the perpens coming down here and they're making a complaint against the employee for just trying to do his job. Yeah, that's uh, it's, exactly. It's, it's, I, I want to have the back of the employees I, I agree with and you I want to have them have sole discretion over right. what goes there and not go there at that time if they're going to be saddled with that responsibility. So I'd, we can go ahead and vote this, but I definitely want to make sure that there's a written policy with the items Correct. expected and, and that we're covering our employees. Because for, for realistically, this isn't coming in for another th three months. So we got oh, a little time so to put that together. No, you got plenty of time. Yeah. Okay. okay. We're just we're just, we're just signing the grant to get the money. Okay. okay. Well, yeah. Well, the, the shed and everything else is going to be spring. It's reimbursement. Yeah. 
right? Okay. You know that. So, so we buy it right. and then they get us yeah, back. Yeah. And it, there's so, and all the documents I gave you in the packet also has all the parameters. Some of the things you're talking about, all those parameters are. Okay. In those so documents. we'll look. Well, we'll look at all that. Mm -hmm. And um, before it's instituted, I just want to make sure that your guys are covered and yep. and we set clear expectation for the right. public so they understand what they're bringing and not bringing in. But again, we all do support it. I mean, it's yeah. It's, no, I know. Yeah. But you want to have it uh, right. rules black and white, yeah. so yep. there's no question exactly. that people are bringing stuff up. It there. says in here it has to be at least 80 square feet. It has to be purchased new, and it has okay. to have a five-year warranty. Mm -hmm. It kind all of right. tells you the yeah. kind yeah. of structure right. like it has to be. Well, thing or something I mean, like that. That, that, like if we have enough mo whatever. money for a little container or something, then mm -hmm. that something you could reuse if right. necessary. Yeah. Um, I make a motion to support this grant. And sign it. Any further discussion? I'm sure there will be. <laughs> All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Um, so next item, I so think. Uh, was it, do yeah, we have any just... other thing for Kevin? Or oh, we have ADA improvement grant. Um, uh, well, the DLTA funding, I did, um, this is something Carolyn was talking about with, um, we had gotten some information from Ryan, so I included the email that Ryan had sent um, along with the D DLTA um, request, which we just received this week from the COG, so. Um, but, but hang on one sec, I just wanted to. For sure, he had sent this. this to Kevin, so in case Kevin had any. So. Thank you. Um, so this was the uh, dual stream. Drop off. Okay, so um, we were gonna. Normally, we take some time and go through this and do a <clears throat> a checklist on what we want and what we don't want. Correct? Do we? Is there a timeline on when this has got to be done? Well, it says it's due January twenty fourth, and uh, Carolyn was then. wanting I, to put I, in for the culverts, and they yeah, say that's. I only you want know. us to put in for culverts. And they're assessment. saying they would do that, right? You said that they. They said would? they can. They can do two to three communities, depending on. Yeah, they, they can only do about two to three communities in once the. Um, okay. You know, once the things are submitted. So, for and culvert, that's culvert, culvert assessment, assessment there, right? right? right. Okay, and so yeah, we, that's, that's we priority only number put, one. Right, and if we only put that in and give them no other choice, then... Well, we, what if they don't? I mean, I don't want to lose out because we didn't put a number two or a number five <laughs> low on the list. Um, let me just look at this real quick and just see... If I can make a recommendation, prime Please. example would be for like our, our Maya um, grant. Yep. Okay, so historically, Maya goes out and gives $10,000 a year. Um, Maya goes ahead and puts a million dollars into a pot, and that gets distributed up to all the people that go and request the grants. The grant that I wrote for the town was a $10,000 grant, but because so many people were around, we only got $9,000. Mm -hmm. The grant I wrote for the fire department, I asked for about $7,000 worth of stuff, and I only got three. Yep. But that was because my 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 nine thousand dollar one was one item. Yeah. My my seven thousand dollar one was three different items. So what they did was they just basically picked, picked something. Because once again, this is this, I don't know exactly what the parameters are going to be for for how they decide what they're going to do, but it may be something. Again, this is just a personal recommendation of having. You know, number one, culverts, you know, but hey, two or three, you know, if you're not going to give us culverts, but maybe you can help us out here. Right. Uh, it's, but that's completely up to you. Yeah. Well, my, having done this for multiple years, I, they want us to participate. So if we only put down one choice, they will want us to participate. And that would be our priority. Sure. And that is their, I know it's a, Mm. A risk, but the the problem is, and that's why I wanted a separate letter earlier sent because we need to show that this is the number one thing that we want to do. Right. And this is key to us keep moving forward on our culverts and and what and our climate resiliency stuff. We have to look like we're doing other stuff that's related to the climate resiliency. Mm -hmm. And we need to get, we have the northern end of town already done. We have 
119 crossings identified. But, you know, River Road is a huge problem, and we need, we should, we need to have those done as well as the rest of the town here. And then um, Ty and Bond, Zach from Ty and Bond is going to work with me to get done for August based on the work, this work, um, to put in for infrastructure assessment so that we can actually have people come out and look, prioritize all the crossings. Because mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sure we have close to, I don't know, Kevin, 450, do you think? Something like it's that. It's a good rough guess. There's about 450. There's probably at least 75 or 100 just on. It's probably about 75 on River Road. Right. So it's 450, say, give or take a few. We need to know what are the next five problematic ones and not have it land in our lap like Kelleher Drive. I mean, how many Kelleher Drives do we have out there? We have no idea. This is, this is horrible. So... Um Mm. And the well, idea can I ask a is question, Diana? Do you remember um, whatever came of the human resource shared things? Th there was a meeting in Waitley. Yep. Has that yeah. gone anywhere? Yeah, or we, they we had gotten a final report, and so the next step, um, we were hoping. I mean, there's some desire for implementation, but the the real desire of the administrators was to have the school participate, and there's been some. Um, we're not sure. It's not clear whether they really want to in the in the shared program that's been um, that came out of the study, basically. So. And is it just the superintendent that would make that decision whether the school wants to get involved, or is it? School I think committee that's the only well? person that we've you know that's the person who had been discussed it, who had been you know consulted at this yeah. point. He was at the meetings yep, that we had. Yep. So, and I'm not sure f for certain whether they've they've said no with certainty, but I think they were in some transition at the time, and they so are, they were yeah, just not definitely. sure. And I just, right, but we wanted the need towns on both ends, certainly so. from from you know from Barbara's perspective, the uh, the big advantage would be to have the school participate. Right, absolutely. Yeah. Because it, it's, yeah, it's kind of a disconnect, not so much a disconnect, but it's, there's a lot that goes on there that right. affects the town. Right. So. And the other towns, the, the, the other town stuff is often around the school employees, too. Exactly. Yeah, yeah it's, a, it's a huge pool of people to mm -hmm. work with. So, okay, I wondered about that. Yeah, I just so I do how, have some, we, yeah, we have something about that. Um, okay, well, I will roll the dice, Carolyn, with you. <laughs> I'm nervous that we're well, not putting anything else down. I just The reason why I think it's worth the gamble is because I honestly believe there has been no infrastructure money, and I know I keep harping on this, but everybody in the country is looking for an infrastructure program. Mm -hmm. And so I think there will be federal money at some point again right. in, in the near future, and we need to be in a position where we'll we are ready, ready, to go. ready to go to take advantage of that. And mm -hmm. the MVP program is pretty good because, you know, yeah, we're getting helping. state money. Right. But we're having to come up with a match. We and we've never money. had to ha come up with a match, be or very little match in the past. But, I mean, there just is no federal money. So, I mean, I think it's worth mm -hmm. a gamble. Right, Kevin? Oh, yeah. oh, it, it's I mean, we're talking about tons of money. Oh, yeah, you're talking a lot of money. There's no I doubt know. about it. I know. So, I mean, All right. I, I have and, and a what feeling. the project is is very important. I have a feeling too. If we if we put in that and we chose that, and for some reason we something weren't selected, out. they, they would, would come back to, to us and okay, say, okay, "What do you guys just, want to do something else?" I would that, like to, you know, yeah, I, I don't think they Linda would just say, exclude us from the technical assistance. This funds. is how important it is to right. us. Right. I think okay. it just shows that it's very important to us. Okay. All right. Who does this go to? This goes back to the oh for cog yeah to Linda and. Whoever the team is we up just, there. We just write yeah, yeah, this but is, Oh, it's to, they're t their technical assistance oh, okay, money yeah, they get right, every copy. year to yeah. do our pro little okay. help But they want projects. towns to participate. Sure, no, yeah. no, no, understood. And so to say that Deerfield's participating, right. the, mm -hmm. so this just bumps us up. Sure. On, they can only do two or three towns. Well, guess right. what? They should do Deerfield. Yeah, yeah, because we're working with their GIS guy right now. Right. Yeah, well, Ryan, I got. think Ryan is, I mean, I've had conversations with him, so I think it's all set, but mm -hmm. I don't know. We need to send, we need to say that this fits with our, long, you know, um, with our projects for the next year. It's really critical to us. Okay, Diana? Yes. We absolutely. need to write some little cover letter with this, not just check it off and send mm -hmm. it in. Okay? Yes. All right. So, moving on. Um, we have a re review and uh, address the tax incentive financing uh, request from Pilot Precision Products 
LLC. That's beyond me. You guys are good with me now, right? Thank you. Oh, well, no, Thank we could run down to the ADA thing, Kevin. Oh. What's that? Yeah, I just just quickly, it would probably be good just right. to make sure Kevin is on board. Review and vote to accept provisional FY20 ADA no improvement yeah. <laughs> grant program. So, so, so basically, we that. have applied for and we've been provi provisionally approved for a grant of thirteen thousand dollars to do our ADA self evaluation and transition plan. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I had planned to. Um, I had talked to the FERCOG and you know they're a contractor that could carry this plan out. So we're you know we're looking at doing that, but but the town you know including Kevin and, and I would have to be available to participate in terms of just you know surveying or anything like that. So I just want to make sure that we're we're comfortable to do that. You're committing right now to do it before um, June 30th. Before June uh, before June 30th. Yeah. The work um, after must be completed. you have to do it after the June 30th. No, after the contract execution date, but before oh, June oh. 30th. Oh, yes. Uh, okay, right. Yes, I'm sorry. Excuse can can yeah. Kevin do it? I don't know. Well, I don't think that... Really, all I'm doing is I'm just... They're doing it. Right. I'm just there for support. Consulting. Or yeah. questions. Okay, so that's really all you're doing? That's, that's okay. kind of my plan. Mm -hmm. I mean, for... I know what I of money, just, they should be doing all the work. And, the, and the idea... And this is... For, I mean, I know this is required... For yeah, our, for it our, is required. For our USDA it is re I know. Uh, funding, so yeah. I just... Um, yeah. And actually, that, that 704 transition plan, was the town was actually... There, there's not very many... Out of the 351 towns in the state of Massachusetts, presently right now, I, my understanding is there's probably only about 60 that actually have the plan Okay. through Boston. Yeah. But now they're really starting to push it where... You're not going to get stuff yeah. if you don't have the plan. And this is something. I mean, we, I mean, we have you want to do, do it's the it. right thing to right. do. It's I just the want right to make sure we do. can yes. execute on all of it. Yeah. Um, okay. Okay. So let's uh, I'll I'll just take do a one more thing just to get pushed through. That's all. We'll review and uh, vote to done. accept the provisional FY20 ADA improvement grant program. Um, I make that motion. No, sir. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. okay. I have all the contracts. Up. All right. Okay. Um, Thank you. So then moving up to review and vote and accept the provisional FY20, uh, excuse me, review and address the tax incentive finance uh, TIF request from Pilot. So I um, just want to see if that is in here. I'll send this over to that way. So if we vote this, this triggers oh, the state. I, I think the letters, I think for some reason the letters are sitting. They, there's pilot precision. Oh. They're right there. No, okay. Nicer. I don't know, for some reason they don't keep hunt. their. It might be in here somewhere. Legal stuff. I have a butters list. I don't know what that is. Um, so this triggers if if we oh, vote sorry. this. All right. If okay. we vote this, when does this trigger the state? Uh, this automatically triggers the state um, so, TIF, right? Well, we know right. So basically, much. what you what you would do is you. I think the first thing is you should just consider that they're requesting you to consider this tax incentive financing. Um, they've I've asked them, they had given a letter quite some time ago um, before they had actually relocated to Deerfield. And now since then, I'd asked them to re resubmit a letter um, giving us the kind of the update. The is, update is there a timeline. deadline on this? What's that? Is there a deadline on this? There's yeah, no people deadline. Before construction starts. Oh. <laughs> right. um, no, um, no, the reason why I, no I was um, wanted to ask if there was a deadline because Normally, we have a TIF committee that makes a recommendation to the select board, mm -hmm. and I kind of would want to make sure that um, we're d following that procedure. Right. So this and is so if there's no deadline, if we could just table this for... I think this is the request, sure. and then we would then... Exactly. It just, a, gets, okay. it just gets it going so that you then decide put how you would like to, to consider it, exactly what you're saying. Right. The the deadline is really town meeting. They would be looking for mm -hmm. this to go to town oh, meeting. Oh, no, no, that's so, fine. Yeah. We can we can do that for sure. I, I just... Um, the normal procedure or what we've done in the past is because I've been on the TIF committees is to 
you know, have the TIF committee do the research and then make a recommendation. Because it's based on, you know, property values, number of jobs brought in, potential for jobs, all that kind of stuff. Right, we exactly. have a whole formula. Yeah. yeah. And then I just, I just gave you, and I can email. I, I don't know if I did email it to you, and, and, or if we got it in Excel. But also, there is like a worksheet at some point you guys could, could mess around with to figure out the amount. Okay. Thank you. Um, Normally, one of the assessors mm -hmm. sits on it. Yeah. That's fine. Um, so, do you want to make a motion to um, start a, um, constitute a TIF committee to get yes. this going? Yes, I would. I would like to table this and um, um, put together, a, you know, a new TIF committee to review this and um, make a recommendation and have make a recommendation to us. Okay. I could put this on the warrant for the request on the warrant, whatever. We decide to vote. For our annual town meeting. Okay. An annual town meeting. I would second that motion. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. So you'll get that rolling? Yeah. Okay, um, good. I'll just reach out to the assessors and, you know, we'll usually there's just a couple of us to get together. Okay. Um... All right, so that's that. Come back to that. It all goes with that. Um, let's see, go back to this a second. So um, there was a re to review and vote to accept the personnel board's recommendation, grade step increase, et cetera. I think this was so. That was before they, that was taped, bef yeah. they took so it under advisement. They took it under advisement. So we can pass over that at the moment, right? Mm -hmm. And come back to that when, when they report okay. back to us. Right I think they were, took meeting. it all under advisement. They're going to okay. do their comp study, make sure that. Okay. Because I don't think we ever filled out. I'm just thinking even for the building inspector, we didn't complete the job description. We did all the thing, but the, then it never got written up. So they're going to write the job description up to match the stuff that we had graded. So they're okay. working on all that stuff based on the meeting last night. They're gonna report back to us and give us those. Okay. And we can move forward on that. Um, I see here before me that it's not on the, um, the agenda, but there is a, um, there's a letter from David Potter. It says, I'm interested in serving as a volunteer member on the town zoning board of appeals. I have a long record of public service and like the opportunity to serve the town in this capacity, and he's given a resume and um, letter of interest. So, um, David, my thank you. Thank my you. question is, uh, I'm I'm in favor, but my only question is that I would love to have um, a meeting with the ZBA, just to. Um, there's been some turnover on that board recently, and I'd like to get kind of to the bottom of that before um, before well, I make the an only, appointment? Well, the, my only concern is that um, they have a meeting posted for January 23rd. Well, I'd let them reschedule that meeting. I think this is really important to just make sure that we're... Um, Can we make sure it gets rescheduled? Yeah, I, the, uh, I just, I think also we should check on the timing of it because this application was submitted in mid-December, I think. So you're bumping up against your time to open a public hearing. Because it's automatically approved if you I don't have the meeting. you got to have people on the board. And well, I that's, mean, I know. I understand that, that but the change. reason I think, I don't know this, but the, I think people are leaving because there's not been communication, well communication between this board and that board. Need for the permit. And my fear is that, you know, we keep upsetting the apple cart. I just want to make sure. Maybe that is not true. I just want to make sure that um, I get well, a full understanding of where they're at or why they're. There's not going to be very many people left. Well, that's what I'm saying. I just want to make sure that uh, why they are. Well, we can. And who's going to be alternate? Who's going to be? Um, I'm so excited David's willing to serve, and I'd love to appoint him to do that. Can I just, I just want to find out what's going on. And then, um, but we don't have another meeting before the 23rd. Can we appoint him as an alternate for right now? We could. 
You don't have an alternate position open right now. Right. You have. We only have a full position. Well, we'd have to move somebody from alternate. Right. You could, you you could, could do move that, Alex correct. up. Yeah. Um, yes. I, I just. Just so you know. Yeah. I just don't. We only have We're a full. Yeah. I know. And, and I know. I just want to clear that first. So when can we meet again? Uh, we can meet in 48 hours. <laughs> no. No. We well, can't meet in 48 hours. It's Friday night at 7.30. No, no. What I'm saying is can here. we meet the 20th or um, mm -hmm. the 21st? We have to post 40. It has to be posted 48 hours, Trevor. And so. Martin Luther King is a holiday. Oh, Martin yeah, Luther King right. is a holiday. So we have to meet the 21st. Yeah. Um, we have, there's a five o'clock <coughs> CIPC meeting, a six o'clock finance committee meeting, and a one o'clock ha hazardous mitigation meeting that night, uh, or that day, but so we, we could we squeeze it in. At four, four, even 4.30, it's no. just a one item meeting? Yeah, no, I'm fine. 4.30? Mm -hmm. 4.45, whatever, are you working, David? No. Oh, okay. You're wonderful. So 4.30 right. on the 21st, I would just love to Prove this, but I just want to have a quick discussion. Um, I'm I'm fine with it. I just the thing is, I, I if we don't make a decision, uh, potentially there's not a quorum, and you go behind beyond the allowed days, it's automatically approved. Of course, I okay. want I want there to be a full okay. board uh -huh. voting, understanding, but I don't. You know, there's been too much of the floor falling out. And I want to make sure when we do this, before Absolutely. anybody sits there, it's a solid board that's going to sit and listen to this with no preconceived notions. Yeah, I, and I it's agree. Just I'm agree. I just want to make listening. sure that we have enough people there. I that agree. we can have a meeting. Yes. Because we For will... the long term, I want a board that is willing to serve. And I thank you for stepping David, up and wanting to serve long term because, on this board. And Alex, because and Alex. this is huge. This is huge, huge, huge. So, and, you know, and as I... I mentioned earlier, it's, you know, my gut is telling me that we probably should give Adam a call, make sure there's not a conflict here with litigation that's currently going on. I know I, it's a different board and everything, but I'm just. I've seen, I'm I've seen, sure. I've seen it, uh, an email that, that says we're good. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. I, yeah. I, okay. Okay. That question's been asked, and I, I've seen Adam's response, and, we're, and okay. because they're two different boards, they're fine. Okay. Yep. I just you know want to yep. make sure. Because, Absolutely. Yep. You know, yeah. We've been shooting Plan ourselves in the foot yeah. for a long time. Yeah. If we screw yeah. this up, no. And no. It postponed. Yeah. Plan, planning board council members have it's automatic yeah, approval and then. Right. Yep. Town council's been advising. Yeah. Council's yep. been, been okay. way deep okay. in this, so we're good. Okay. Good. So um, and then um, that'd be great. So, so you're gonna meet 4:30 on Tuesday. Okay yes. You, for to re-discuss the just David, the zoning. Thank you. Just Seriously. zoning. That's the only and thing that's going to be on there unless for, step for some ahead. reason some other meeting falls apart. I'll just put <laughs> resignation and appointments. Okay. And so right. and so um, you will need to come in and get sworn in. Alex, are you sworn in? Okay. Yep. So the the twenty second. If, if you're uh, put it on the board, you come and sign in. Because and, the they have a meeting posted for the twenty third. Yep. So. so um, but I, I just Alex want to talk with the other members. So. Oh, no, no, I absolutely agree. It's just I'm, I know. we need to have enough people there so it's just not, not automatically approved because yep. there's no quorum. Of course. Yep. Yes, you can come in any time during the day. If, if Actually, on the, if even on the 23rd, through. as long as you, before the meeting on the 23rd, you are actually sworn in to vote. And that, Alex has already gotten sworn and that's in. That's done in the town clerk's office. Right. So it has to be before four o'clock, and the and Alex is already you already signed. So, okay. We, it's just really important that we mm -hmm. cross make, all the T's and we have honest people yeah. there doing their job. That's, right. Yep. And I just we need to verify that people can show up. Yep. Diana, if you can send no it, a remind reminder um, of the meeting on the twenty third. Yes. Okay. Please. Yeah. Of the ZBA hearing, you mean? Yes, yes. To, who do you want me to send that reminder to? To, to the rest of the board members. Okay. The ZBA board members? Yes, oh. yes. Um, 
Kathy Felton. Um, I mean, I know John Sabursky and Bernie Sadowski probably already know about yeah. it, but just make sure, make um, sure that Adam <coughs> is going to be available because yeah. we appointed him as full member, and yeah. I haven't talked to him. I don't know if he's available on the 23rd, but okay. our assumption was he was available on the mm -hmm. 23rd. Yes, I, I talked to Bob Decker today, and I believe you know he was confirming with Sue on his availability. Good. And they were okay, basically good. trying to make sure that maybe. everybody was going to be. Yeah, exactly. All right. So okay. you have to confirm. Yep. I'll check okay, with good. Sue tomorrow. All right. Um, let's see. So you had uh, town administrators report annual town report submissions are due. So I've got yep. to get busy on my yep. report. So that's kind of a reminder Maybe of you guys. Maybe we can work together yeah, a bit on that. To, sure. Yeah, we um, did that last year. You yeah, it worked kind of out we really start. Well. We all collectively. Yeah. Yeah. Pending, yeah so. That worked out well. Yeah. So I we are doing that. I've got a uh, reached out about the solar um, update. So we do have a solar um, agreement that has been um, reviewed by council and is now back with the solar developers. And so Beth, um, I reached out to Beth, and then Beth, Beth reached out to them. So this is um, for the transfer station. For the transfer station solar, that's something we're waiting on. Um, we are, uh, I think, moving ahead with all of our other, you know, projects Has and, and grants. Have done anything with that solar yet, or you can't do it until the other stuff? I think part the the thing they're working on right now is the interconnection. Yeah. 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 So I don't know that they've I don't know that they've done they've any actual construction, before. but I know that, yeah. that we're working on the interconnection agreement. Um, oh, let's see what else is going on. I don't try to. Sorry, um, other. We've got the mm -hmm. MMA meeting next week, so we'll be going to Boston to yeah. sign up for yeah, our so classes you, and yeah, earn our money the, points. Right, to those save are the your town rewards yeah. um, workshops at yep. MMA. Yeah, um, some good stuff there. I, I was looking through that, and um, we have some. Uh, yeah, we have a regional meeting with all the select boards from Western yeah, Mass. Yeah, um, yeah. I night. think we should put together some um, subjects that we want to discuss. Yeah. Um, Good night. Thank not, you. David, thank, thank you. David. Thank you, David. Thank you so much. Um, not just the um, sewer stuff, but I mean the recycling stuff, but um, I think there's some really, we, ha we have to talk to Sean Cronin and, um, mm -hmm. on the educational for formula. Yes. That's, that's a do real important thing. And maybe we can um, reach out to Darius to get some information. Um, before we go down, do you think, or do you have enough from the from your school committee background? I think so. That you could talk yeah, coherently I about can. the formula, how it. Yep. Um, I mean, you understand what what the difference is from the prior formula to the, the current formula, and why what, yes. what we're asking for. Yeah. Okay. I just want to make sure that we actually can nail him down a bit. You know, as, what's the next step? Because I haven't gotten very far in a commitment. Oh yeah, you're one of those ones that has zip code problems and all that. I mean, that's as far as we keep getting. Mm -hmm. And we need to move beyond that. Right. Like, how do we how do we separate? You know, the the Waitley residents. I know. You know, that's going to have some. That's that's ten percent of our pop. You know, of our. And you don't know what that 10% looks like from an income profile. So that might right. have profound effects on that part. And then we've got, to, we've got to be creative about a waiver, ask for a waiver mm -hmm. or some kind of difference for the, the other zip code. Because mm -hmm. that zip code is incorrect. Right. It is. It is. If you take out all the nonprofits, mm -hmm. the, the rest of the taxpayers are not... I mean, that changes the whole thing. Absolutely. Um, so I wanted to, I was wondering if it might make sense. Um, we had put the, um, or not put it on hold, but we hadn't taken the next step on the uh, doing the complete streets. I think we're waiting sort of transition. Yes. But, yep. um, but we're going to have the special on the 29th. Is it possible that I could try to schedule um, that form maybe before would, be would that idea. be a good idea maybe to try to get some public people would be here might and, draw some yeah people i mean yeah. i think the, all the people that are going to come that are going to be excited about climate resilience here are very you know they're all excited about a lot of that same stuff and oh i'm fine with that so I we have a, a whole idea. public prior we have a whole prioritization plan really ready to go and to be i'm, I'm fine with that can you i mean okay. when, you can, when, you can i can check with together. i can check with them and see if they could there. come yep. um okay 
Um, so are you thinking like five o'clock? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like How about some, four, four? Well, five o'clock. No, four thirty is kind of early. Yeah, I think five, four thirty might be too early. But I was thinking maybe five, five to, because the meeting's at seven. And then you guys, are you guys going to meet too? I guess I was going to ask we how are, you were going to. We going to have a meeting, but what we could do is see if at five o'clock, if we had that, then um, we could just meet. Yeah. Like 6.30 or whenever. Whenever right. we felt, you know, things were winding down, let's just finish off some business. Mm -hmm. Is that okay? Sure. All right. Okay. So All right. T I'll see tentatively if I can do that. set it for 6.30, but maybe, maybe, it, well, maybe you should I'll do just it do 6 your regular. Yeah, or maybe we'll just do your regular meeting. We'll do 5 to 6 for Complete Streets. We'll just do your regular meeting. But yeah, why don't we past, do that? And then, then if it's can, late, we yeah. just don't start the Selectman's meeting, yeah, but exactly. it's already posted for six if we choose to move ahead. Perfect. Okay, I think that is a good idea. Perfect, okay. great, I'm thank right you so that. much, that'd be great. Um, okay. The only other thing I had was I just, and we don't have to discuss it now, but I was just looking at um, kind of our budgets that you would mm -hmm. put in that we oh, hadn't yes. looked at yet. Yeah. So um, I didn't know, if, I mean, we can put that on another meeting, but I just wanted to I start be really a good talking about, too. you know, what's going on, because these, these were put in for submission, but we have not looked at them yet. So. Yes, exactly. And um, I mean, Brenda and I went through them, I think, did we just finish them today? Yes. Um, but yeah. Or so, yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. And I think in, in totality, I don't think the amounts have changed very much, like the bottom line amounts. I think mostly they were stayed consistent. Um, but in terms of the breakdown, yeah, you guys are going to want to have some, some input. Well, because you've got, so we have, uh, we I have, so this is, um, I just got this tonight. So we've got uh, town administrator budgeted. We have uh, a number in here for assistant town administrator. Um, Executive assistant is not uh, scheduled last year or this year, but is we have, we have the other assistant budgeted, and then we had a part time, um, you know, board of health assistant question mark yeah. is. I, I asked Brenda. I don't know how she. Sh I think she showed this. This the amount we got voted at the special. Right. I asked her to just leave that in there. That needs to be showing because Correct. we voted it. And I just put, I just wanted to put it as like administrative. We're going to have a huge support. So we'll have the ability to, to so your get budget real may staff go, here. Yeah, so we have this exactly. already covered. Or it could this go, is already covered. Um, so we have, uh, we have the ability for some help and we have the ability to hire an assistant town administrator. And I think mm -hmm. that covers what we're going to need. I, I don't see anything else needed on that. Do you? No. Okay. That should cover us on that. Um, and then select board uh, expense. I don't, you know, we're always shy quite a bit here. And I just wanted to see, um, I'm, I'm trying to figure out where to budget for these things that are all busted. Well, I don't know if it's in this expense or it's in a town building. building. So we have a building maintenance. Building. So that we just want to make sure that we have enough covered for, because uh, I'm talking to that guy that works at the jail that would build this hideous thing behind us mm -hmm. and fix that and um and get us some chairs that actually work i mean everybody's at a different level the arms are busted there's mm -hmm. like no one will sit in that chair like and somebody can have arms or not arms or mm -hmm. like there's mm -hmm. this okay. is really hideous so we need to I fix know. this um so whether it's that budget or this budget i'm not sure where that comes out of but well, i mean everybody uses the chair it's not a select board chair, right but, right right we have so. we have a whole list of things and we have all the lists from mass Corps. pat has put together a whole thing and she took all of your your things of who wanted arms and who didn't and we have it all ready to go but do we have but that we in, need to in know the budget somewhere that's right we need to know where where the budget yeah, is I and need it, to figure and out I, where that is it could be available in building maintenance but that is managed by uh, Kevin, so we should check with Kevin. Mm -hmm. And then um, the rest of this uh, I, I, is fine. I just would really... like to get through the winter season a little bit before we put an order in for the chairs, even if it's mm -hmm. in building maintenance, that's just okay. in case we have ice and yeah, I don't. That's totally snow fine. damage I don't, to the roof or something. I don't know. care when. I just want it to happen. Okay. And then 
some know, improvements here this, with yeah. some photos up there of the town. But we just I, need to there make is it enough like money. We did. We talked about that last year. There's probably yeah. money right now in, in yeah. the I, I budget. I believe there, there is. is. That's we what I'm saying. We'll send John on the conference to steal his chair. You're not watching that, John, are you? Borrow his chair. Borrow his chair, right. He'll come back with handcuffs. Um, <laughs> yeah, town office expense is, uh, so is this just our town office expense, like the supplies and the, we don't have any money, telephone hall. in conference, oh, in contracted services and police FY20, so that got moved, yes. I guess? Yes, yes, yep, so the telephone, because so when we changed, from the telephone from Verizon to Comcast, yep. um, the town, only the police department has Verizon now, so they took on the telephone the bill themselves. Yeah, okay, they good. took it into their budget. All right. so. and, then, and everybody else has um, uh, voice over IP, and that's in Comcast, that's in telecom. And town reports, we usually do fine. I think we're yeah, covered we, on the bill there yeah, usually every yeah, time. Yeah. Um, we brought it down. If we, we print 350, and that seems to be like a perfect number the last okay, couple good. years. And publishing is another, that's for all of our. Um, that's all your ads. Ads your, and stuff, um, yep. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Postings. General insurance, I know this is a guess, we're always guessing. Yeah, but so it, we well, came down we about got a thousand move. bucks. I mean, we get the rewards. problem is we get credits. Yeah. Right. And, yeah. and, and, and that have, helps every year. Yeah. We budget for that right. and we can yeah. swing we just it. Got we, budget, we should budget what the real cost is and then. Right, that's exactly what we, we do. Don't, we don't, mm -hmm. we get credits right. and we should then, I mean, it should, should just come off mm -hmm. without having, I mean, that money so just goes to free cash. So maybe if we adjust that a little bit. Yeah, but I know, but if we, if I you know. and I don't go, then we don't right. get the credits. That's so. true, yep. Or we well, don't I'll participate in a program, then we don't get the credits. And then legal expense. Um, I haven't gotten a um, commitment from them from for 21 uh, yet, so I don't know if, they're, if you want to talk, wanna about talk to them. Or, yeah, because I wasn't sure what you wanted to. Because 19 was split out quite a bit, it looks like, and then. Yeah, so tw I don't know when you started your flat rate contract, but 20 you have. We did a flat rate at 36. A, that yeah. was when we did it in 2019, was okay. the first, or maybe this was the first flat no, rate. No, I think in 19 and you did, and then this year you did as well, and it went up It went up by 10,000 this year, the flat rate contract, if you remember. It went up to 46. Right. And then, and then we, we have, have additional other, amount for planning board and, and for personnel. And we have a lot of work coming this, this year, so uh, I think uh, the flat, they did not make out on the flat rate. No. no. That's why it went up. Yeah. But but we, this year it was significantly down. Right. It's in usage. So maybe we could discuss it And we've again. been I spending money outside of that flat rate. Mm -hmm. So maybe we can get them to. We've got to talk to them a little bit for sure. We, th that should be on our list for next week. Yep. All right. And then contracted service. I, I know this is a huge one that we just have to kind of go through a bit. Yeah, yeah. I know definitely. that take, that's one yeah, of the last I'm ones taking, to kind of you know, get I'm, done. I'm taking a stab at some of those things just just based on this year's. You know, we've got MVP con, some contracts, Siemens, I, Telecom. I think what I want to do is look at. You know, we get this every year, and this is what was budgeted, and down here is what was spent. But I want to look at. You know, we we. Um, you know, we expended in nineteen more than we budgeted. And I just want to make sure that we're, um, you know, every year it seems that way, you know? So we, we need to look at this realistically. And then I know we can always go to reserve at the end of the year, but um, I wanted to look at the actual breakdown of what we spent in each column instead of I knowing what we I think it would be very overspent. helpful to show the ones that we always outspend. Right, yeah. and adjust that to Contracted sure right. services is your right. sort of catch-all for, your, con for, your, um, for your contract. So this year, um, you know, we ended up doing two MVP grant writing contracts. So, um, so that wasn't something. Um, we didn't get the set. We got one meta grant, but we didn't get the second meta grant. So some of Beth is coming out of that. Um, but I had budgeted for catchy. that. Yes, um, I know. But there yeah. were some other. We did we did an appraisal and we did some some uh, wetland stuff out of that. Yeah. So so some of the extra contracts that we didn't conceive of at the beginning of the year, you know, got plugged right. into there. So really that does flush sometimes that out. happen. Think about that what, really well. What we have to do is argue to the finance committee that you have a certain percentage of, you know, say oh, it's no. just four or five thousand dollars that we need to put in there extra um, for these unanticipated 
you know, unless like the, they're appraisals. open to a trans. I mean, we haven't taken anything from reserve this whole year, so um, uh, maybe that's the way they want and, it. And then that's sometimes fine they, if they're sometimes, open to it. Sometimes they just want a reserve transfer. So right, I'm and okay that's fine with too. That too. Yeah. Um, okay. But it'd be good to budget so people knew that it was accurate and it was going to stay. Yeah, accurate. and we had a we had a meet. Uh, so we have been with our IT outsourced IT provider now for since April, so not quite a year, but we did go ahead and do our one year recap because we're doing budgeting. Mm -hmm. So we had, and plus the Windows 7 expiration happened this week, so we right. wanted to have them come in and talk about our cybersecurity and make sure that we were all set with our Windows 10 upgrade, um, mm -hmm. make sure all our computers are brought up to date. So they came in yesterday morning. So in addition to doing all that, we also have budget numbers for uh, FY21, um, which are shown in there, but I have more details, so we can talk about that mm -hmm. during the budget discussion. And um, we, you know, if you want to still talk about any kind of, you know, the, the um, Public Works Department has talked about per pursuing tablets. Mm -hmm. um, Bob has mentioned it, the building commissioner um, pursuing a tablet. We've talked about them for you guys. So I know, we have. just something I am getting, I have uh, price quotes for that stuff, so if you would like to look at it. Yeah. Um, and then the other thing we are doing, Last year I budgeted, <clears throat> in this year, uh, to convert our uh, GoDaddy email yes, to, the, to, uh, uh, to, the, to the 365 platform, which is absolutely needed. We are not compliant on our system. GoDaddy with HIPAA, and right. we're not compliant with our archiving, email archiving for public records. We use do we, 365 do we, But we need to great. be able to budget an accurate number for the transferring of that, how yeah. that happens, yeah. because we, uh, we have the public records requests Absolutely, yeah. Of all so the we, stuff. It's exactly. I mean, do you know how to get it off? I mean, yes, yeah. We're going to have it all archived. So we're bringing over all the current okay. email that I we just have make sure. in the archiving. We have. So we've got a whole proposal, but that's actually in this year's budget. So we're going to okay. be moving ahead with that Good. now for yes, March. Um, but then in next year's budget, we budgeted for the you know for the subscription service. But it wasn't anything different than this year, okay. I don't think. So that's in there too. And then, it, um, okay, so that, that didn't mean to kind of spend extra time on that, but I just. Um, okay, sorry, I, I just wanted there to was, those up. Uh, there was a request for comment on, um, looks like an addition. Yeah. So I'm just going to look at that real quick. Where is that at? This is. Um, the old Anthropology building on North Street. Oh. Here again, I'm doting, dating myself again. The, kind of across from the. <laughs> It's on North Street, right across oh. from Newell, or Yankee Candles. Newell. Oh, where is it? Where is it, there? If you're going down North Street, it's the, it's the first building on your uh, right-hand side. Before you get down to the end, it's, yeah. yeah. You okay. can see it. If you come down Conway Street, you can see it. Like, yeah. from Conway Street, you can look yep. over and see it. It's okay. that Smith, it says Smith's Connects yeah. or something. Or What's like. going to go in there, or what are they going to do? Well, they're just expanding it. Yeah. Their, good for them. That's oh, good. well, that Adding is good. Three employees. Right. Um, Love to see that. Yeah, we can lose it. I'll have yeah, to drive down. Yeah, yeah um, it's really nice. It's looking really nice down there on North Street with that new building and stuff. I mean, yeah. You know, I mean, considering it's a little yeah. industrial looking, yeah. but it looks good. Looks nice. Yeah, the building was originally built by Louis Abercrombie as a beer distributor. Oh, yeah? Mm. Yeah. Schlitz. <laughs> I saw a Schlitz camp today from the 50s. I, I think it's really great that you're on the board, Dave, so we get all these tidbits. <laughs> um, I just want you I to know I appreciate it. Today from, uh, I appreciate from the 60s, it was a can, or 50s maybe. It was with the old stapled cans. Oh, yeah. Oh, the my Schlitz. Oh, yeah. Schlitz. I think I had a collection in his basement. So. Uh. Um, okay, that's not good to me. I don't have any, uh, I mean, as long as everyone's uh, planning board's going to look at this, right? Everybody's good. Yeah, yeah no. Um, They're just going to give some warehouse space and yeah. grow some people. The space, yeah, yep, um, 30 spaces. I assume the building commissioner has reviewed this. And yeah. Okay with it. As far as I know, there's no worries. It's built, uh, permitted with a special permit to the zoning board. So the zoning board is looking at that. Okay. All right. Can I see the um, plan underneath? Sure. 
Let me just yep. take two minutes to look at it. the street so I thought they were gonna add on here. Oh this probably existing and then here we go. North Street. So removing this electrical stuff and adding on I think this. There's enough space, right? Can you see that? Yeah. yeah. Looks like yeah, there. they're adding on to the section. Pros building addition. Looks like the lights okay. Yeah. I I don't I I think it's important to say that we don't have any concerns that you know um, concrete work. The select board has no cons concerns or something, rather than no comment because right. no comment can be taken as negative. Yeah, I have no concerns. Yeah. They're just kind of putting on this bay. Yeah. Yeah. The overhead door, door at the back, door at the side. It looks fine to me. From what I was told, it doesn't encumber on uh, Sheckley's property at all. So. Yep. Just the windows it's to not going to change. No. Not going to change the look. Oh, oh, bumping over it just on the bay on the side here is all it is. Okay, that's good. Okay. So Diana, no can concerns. you just let them? Yeah, that we have no concerns. No concerns. Yeah. Yes. Make sure it's responded that there are no concerns to the zoning board. As well. Okay. Thank you. Um, so, last item is the uh, executive session. So, um, pursuant to Mass General Law, Chapter 21B, Paragraph 2, to conduct strategy sessions in preparation for negotiation with non union personnel or to conduct collective bargaining sessions or contract negotiations with non union personnel, a town administrator contract. So, I deem the session um, applicable. So, uh, I make a motion to go into um, executive session. Second. All, all those. Um, um, no. Ca I, Carolyn. I, Trevor McDaniel. I, Dave Wolfram. And we will. Um, we have to sign. Yeah, we open. will return to open session, hopefully, to, to sign a contract. Yep. So we'll be back in a bit. Okay. Hi, good evening. Uh, welcome to the Deerfield uh, Select Board Town uh, Select Board Board of Health meeting. We are reconvening from our executive session. It is um, eight eleven on January fifteenth. So um, we're back into public session to discuss and vote and sign the um, contract agreement with the, our new town administrator, Casey Warren. So um, in reviewing um, the contract, this contract will take a, um, we're signing the contract on the 15th day of January uh, 2020. It will take effect, um, this agreement shall take effect on the 11th day of February 2020 and shall remain in effect uh, in full force and in effect until June 30th, 2021. Um, let's see, and I think that is it. Anything else you want to discuss about this? Nope. You're good. Um, anybody say, has any questions, they can always reach out to us for a copy or. Mm -hmm. And I'll take a motion. I will make that motion. I'll second it. Any further discussion? Nope. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. So I'll sign as a select board chair. sign all these copies and we'll get them to Barb and whoever else needs them. Um, anything else? Um, would it be possible to get the resumes for the uh, assistant? Yes. Yep. Sorry. Get that rolling. Okay. And we also, so we have an upcoming meeting. Um, we have a meeting on the 21st, 21st 430. Um, 
to discuss and maybe vote on the uh, Zoning Board of Appeal appointments. And then we have our next scheduled meeting, which would be January 29th, 2020. Of course, we'll be meeting down in uh, Boston um, at the Oh, MMA. make sure the MMA uh, meeting is posted. Is posted. Um, so we'll be meeting, we'll be we'll going be down on the 23rd and 24th, right? Right. And then coming back on that Sunday or Saturday. Sunday um, or whatever. Yeah, weather. depends yeah. on the snowstorm as usual. Uh, and then uh, the following meetings would be February 12th and February 26th, unless something comes up before yeah. that. In January 29th, we will be meeting in between the special, the yes. complete streets. Hopefully, if we can get that scheduled and the special town meeting, you'll correct, have a brief meeting correct. Too. And please, please, I implore you to come out for the uh, special town meeting on January 29th. Um, to vote for. Can um, you make sure it gets on the web page? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Um, because this is really critical. It is. Yeah. Otherwise, critical. we're not going to replace Kelleher Drive at 25%. We'll be paying 100%. Yeah. So please come out and support the grants. A big chunk of money for our town, and everybody here has worked really hard on that. So um, providing we get it, uh, we'll be in good shape. So, um, okay, that's it. So motion to adjourn. Make that motion. I'll second. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Have a great night, everybody.